Wayne here from Talk Cars. I'm just going to answer a quick question for one of our viewers, and that's what's the difference between direct injection engines and standard fuel injection engines, and why have so many manufacturers gone with direct injection? We'll discuss the original setup, the standard fuel injected engine, where there was an injector and it's generally mounted inside the intake. So as the air comes into the engine, it sprays an amount of fuel. It's sucked in with the air past the valve into the engine where it burns. Now that for years has worked really well. They used to use a carburetor which had a little jet inside it and you would have to adjust the jet. And as the air rushed over the carburetor, it would pick up the amount of fuel roughly that it needed. But that was very imprecise. And with modern fuel emissions regulations, and the requirements of a modern engine, you really need a lot more control over the fuel. So fuel injection allows the manufacturer to change the spray patterns to suit. And also as the engine's running, the amount of fuel that's injected at very, very precise moments. So the timing is absolutely critical. Now with the advent of modern emissions regulations, there's a need to tighten things up even further. And manufacturers have discovered that by putting a turbo on an engine, which sucks and compresses a lot more air, they can make an engine a lot more efficient. So you can get a 1.4 litre engine that makes as much power as a two and a half, three litre naturally aspirated engine would have done. Now the cost of forcing air into the engine is you're at a much higher risk of detonation, pre-ignition and engine knock. So to avoid those, you would use higher octane fuels, but there are limits as to how far that can go. So these problems tend to occur, particularly pre-ignition, where the fuel gets so highly pressurized, it combusts before you actually want it to, before the spark goes off and causes all sorts of damage in the engine. So with direct injection, the fuel is directly injected into the cylinder just before the moment it is needed. And it allows the engine to run substantially higher compression ratios. You get more air into the engine, you get a much more efficient, clean burn. Bear in mind the pressures inside an engine are incredible. You can actually use a direct injection injector to cut things just spraying a liquid. You see those lathes, don't you, that use a jet of water to cut metal. So there are some drawbacks though with the direct injection engines. And the most notable of this is carbon buildup on the intakes. So with the exhaust gas recirculation valves, and ventilation systems set up in the modern engine, you often get deposits of the oily combustion gases from inside the engine coming back into the intake to go into the engine to burn. Now that tends to deposit itself on the back of the valves. Now in days gone by with fuel injection, the fuel, which is a really good cleaner, was sprayed onto the back of the valves and kept them clean. With direct injection, that no longer happens and you just get a continual buildup of carbon on the back of the valves. And in some engines that gets so bad, you get a substantial loss of power as effectively those air intakes get clogged up and clogged up and the airflow is dramatically restricted. So the best ways of cleaning that is really only to take off the intake manifold and have a, a walnut blast clean or a chemical clean to actually remove the carbon that's built up on the back of the valves. Now, a lot of modern manufacturers are actually going back to fuel injection and direct injection. And during the warm up cycle of the engine, when you need more fuel to warm the engine up and get it up to operating temperature, they're using fuel injection to spray a little bit of fuel on the back of the valves. And that's actually helping to prevent the carbon buildup issue. The larger capacity engines tend to be much worse for carbon buildup problems. Manufacturers are aware of the problem and they are starting to design around it. But be very aware if you've got a direct injection engine that you will have some sort of carbon buildup on the valves. It helps to keep everything in the engine burning as efficiently and cleanly as possible. So we recommend good quality cleaning additives to keep those injectors in peak condition and just to make sure that everything in the engine gets to burn off. The additives are obviously not 
going to clean the intake valves because that fuel will never contact it. But the cleaner the burn, the slower the buildup will be of the carbon in the intake valves. We've seen a few processes that garages and companies have set up where they can spray a cleaner into the intake as the engine is running and deliver very measured doses. And that can be very, very effective at cleaning the carbon buildup of the engine. So direct injection is a really good thing. It's actually derived from diesel engines and the way they worked and how they got really efficient diesel engines. And we're seeing that same technology going into petrol engines. And as far as tuning them goes, you've got a much higher quality fuel injection system, a better fuel pump. So generally speaking, you get a little bit more scope for adding more power before you need to address the injectors. So we hope this video has been useful to you. We certainly love having you here to watch it. And and we thank you for all your support. We'd encourage you to subscribe if you haven't done so. And we'll see you in the next video.